Jay Garrick is the Flash, and issue number four. Let's talk about it using my space system story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get in any category. If I give this comic book a 10 out of 10, I am obviously not saying that this is better than Watchmen or The Dark Knight Returns or Giant Size X-Men number one. No, I'm saying for a Jay Garrick Flash comic, it's a 10. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10. However, we are going to talk about it, and that's how the review system works. Dr. Elemental, Professor Hughes, he is a bad guy. He mess around with time, mess around with Jay Garrick, mess around with Judy, mess around with Joan. He just mess around with everybody. He's not a nice guy, but he is kind of cool. I'm going to give the storyline a 1.5. Um, if I give a zero, that means the story is bad. If I give a one, that means it's good. If I give a two, that means it's amazing. So I'm gonna give it 1.5. The reason I cannot give it a two is that they kind of tooled with the origin again. Now, full confession here, um, I have not read the Golden Age Flash. I actually really enjoy the Golden Age characters, but I always read them in a modern setting. Only recently have I gone back to read golden age comic books. So I would say about maybe about seven or eight months. So I started with Alan Scott, Green Lantern. I've been reading all American comics. He debuted, I think, at number 16. I'm up to like 27 or 28 now. Plus I started reading a couple of his solo titled series as well. Alan Scott's a great character in those golden age comic books. Not the character he is now. Anyways, the character that he was was amazing. Jay Garrick is probably my second favorite. He just looks cool to me. I've got a great statue of Golden Age Flash running with Flash. You know that, you know, the one with the 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 the, the brick, the brick wall, and then they're all running towards it. Yeah, I've got that. Um, love it. <clears throat> so um, yeah, 1.5. Look, I like the story. They retooled the origin, whatever, but it's mostly about Dr. Elemental, um, how he started doing experiments, how he saw Green Lantern in. There's a great, there's a part here where he sees on TV. I'm gonna, I don't know how. This is digital. I don't have the physical comic yet. I have not gone to the comic shop yet. So I, I'm going to show you on digital. There's a, I don't know if you can tell there. See, there's Green Lantern, you know, uh, doing stuff on the TV. So this is him watching it off of TV. So it's like he's seeing this on a TV screen. I, I, I don't know where he saw this because the Green Lantern comics I've been reading, nothing happens. Green Lantern stands around talking about his feelings in every comic. That's all that happens. So I guess at some point in time, Green Lantern did something heroic. I suppose um, he has no willpower because he just is a whiner and a, and a crybaby all the time. But I guess when he wasn't crying about whatever, he he went out and did something. So then, so at that one second where Green Lantern actually did something heroic, uh, Doctor Elemental saw that, got inspired. It's like, oh, maybe he could be a god. Maybe he's an alien, but maybe he's a human with enhancements or something. Who knows? So he starts his experiments, and then that leads to him to getting Jay Garrick. He rigs up this thing to um, these chemicals so that they fall on Jay. Jay gets super speed, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Um, I, you know, I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not the origin, even though I haven't read it. So if it is the origin and I'm completely wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, but I don't think so. I think they've retooled this origin, right? <laughs> um, but they've retooled it in a way that doesn't piss me off, like... Alan Scott Green Lantern, where he's just an idiot, and they just hand him a lantern and say, here, do stuff. Okay. Um, plus, I actually did read the actual real origin of Alan Scott, so there's that. But the storyline is pretty good. I, I mean, you know, I liked it. Um, pacing, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 2. It's fast-paced. It is, should be fast, because it's the Flash. After all, it is very fast-paced. Um, I liked it. I thought, uh, you know, it went by really quickly, even though it's a little bit of a... It's a bit of a talker. There's not really a lot of action. Um, but... I was not bored and I was actually interested in the experiments to see what would happen. So I could, I could knock the pacing down to 1.5. I'm teetering on 1.5 because there really wasn't some, there was, there wasn't really any action in this. There should always be action. There was a little bit. There was a, I'll leave it at two. I wasn't bored. Um, I don't want to nitpick over a 0.5 score, but I'll leave it at two. The art, I'm going to give it a 1.5 for the art. I do like the art. It's pretty good, a little a little bit better than good. So it's colorful, it's bright, it's the flash. You know, that's what we want. I really like this kind of flash cordon look here of this guy. Looks pretty, pretty neat. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it didn't blow my socks off, but like, it's good, I liked it. It's nice, colorful, 1.5, I think that's fair. 
Um, speaking of art, I do want to mention my channel sponsor, which is BeardedShirts.com. Please check out the link in the description. They have these amazing print all over shirts. Um, normally, I would show one on a video. They're all in the wash. Poorly timed video. They're all in the wash. <laughs> um, but they're, they're, they've got a lot of great stuff. Tons of DC stuff. Golden Age. They've got Golden Age Flash. All that cool stuff. So please check them out. If you become a Legionnaire um, and join the channel as a member, you are entered into a draw to win a shirt. Uh, every month we give one member a pick of their uh, a, a shirt of their choice off the website. So check them out. Okay, characters. I'm gonna give the characters a two. Man, I like Flash. I, he's awesome. I actually like Judy a lot. Um, you know, so that's great. Uh, this Doctor Elemental guy's pretty cool. He does have the stash. He's got the mustache. Where's a good picture of him? Let's find a good picture of him so I can show you. He's got the evil guy mustache. Um, Looks like uh, Omni Man kind of. He's got that Omni Man stash. Look, look at him. He just looks like a meanie. I love him. I love these like I love these like 30s and 40s kind of scientist guys. Um, look, I like the characters. I don't know what to tell you. I really I really enjoy the characters. That that kept me going on Flash. Um, stories are simple, but the characters are cool. So there you go. <clears throat> For the overall enjoyment factor, I'm gonna give it a 1.5. I'm not gonna give it a two. Um, I liked this comic, I didn't love it. I'm like, this, this isn't the greatest thing ever. But I did like it. Um, again, the origin, I, I don't know why they need to mess around with these origins all the time. It just seems kind of weird. <clears throat> but anyway, I still really liked it. So I'm gonna give it an overall score of 8.5 out of 10. It could probably be more like an eight out of 10. Again, I don't wanna nitpick over the five, over a 0.5 score difference. I like the Flash comic. I think it's fun. And I remember the days where comics were fun. They didn't always have to tell a big deep story. They didn't always have to make some sort of social commentary or some political statement or push some sort of agenda or some kind of an ideology. It was about heroic characters, battling villains, doing heroic things. I think for the most part, you kind of get that in this comic. So for that reason, we're gonna stick with the 8.5. Uh, if you enjoy my space rating system, please like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are on Jay Garrick. That is it everyone, until next time.